Okay. Just a moment. Thank you, Chairman, to introduce me. Good afternoon, everyone. Let's begin with the introduction. Low back pain is the most common listen in Thailand, and the prevalence of low back pain was reported 30 to 70 percent in high school age and working population. Over 70% of total population has back pain in their lifetime. And the low back pain is the most common reason and uh, for medical consultation and second reason for retire from work. Non-specific chronic low back pain is the most common type found in the low back pain as 85% uh, of overall back pain population. The pain area of non-specific back pain uh, is pain uh, between lower costal margin but not below the buttocks. And in addition, low, uh, non specific back pain symptoms not related with back pain from specific disease or serious disease such as uh, nerve root entrapment or back pain from trauma, tumor, infection, and inflammation. The popular disease of non specific back pain include high muscle tension, for example, muscle strain or myofascial pain syndrome. The spinal stability consists of three subsystems that work together to control body stability. First is the passive subsystem or spinal column. This system uh, includes passive structure around the spine, such as ligament and joint articulation. And next system is the active subsystem or spinal muscles that include global and local muscles. The, the local muscle is the main to control body stability and control external force on the lumbar spine. And the last system is our control subsystem. This system receives information from muscle, ligament, and uh, muscle spindle or conjoint tender organ and send the signal to the brain to adjust muscle force and movement. The patient with low back pain has many disabilities such as pain and uh, poor postural sway. Back pain cause of uh, lack of postural control, which can have an effect on everyday life or work performance. The size of back pain contribute to stress and anxiety may also lead to depression. Especially the patient with back pain has weakness of cross stabilizer muscle, resulting in body instability. In addition, back pain patients lack of motor control and proprioceptive feedback and also impair central nervous system to control body instability. Filling exercise is one of effective treatments that activate neuromuscular control, motor control, and also stimulate proprioceptive function to decreasing of postural sway. Moreover, sling exercise helps to facilitate co contraction between local and global muscles to improve of more muscle activation. From previous study, many studies found that sling exercise or unstable surface exercise lead to decreasing of pain and disability. However, only a few studies have been assessed about the effect of sling exercise and lack of study about sling exercise in Thailand. Uh, the largest of the research investigates long-term effect of sling exercise, but the immediate effect of sling exercise on postural stability was, uh, was not evaluated by any study. Therefore, in this study, was to comparison between for exercise and sling exercise on postural stability as a severe area and severe velocity in both anterior portilia and medial lateral pain in the patients with low back pain. Next session is the material and method in this study. 20 participants with back pain were randomly divided into sling group and floor group exercise. In this study, it was approved ethic by Ethics Committee of Lancet University. The G power software was used to sample site calculation. And the sample site calculation uh, was calculated with a dropout of 20%. Inclusion criteria 
consists of the patient with age range between 20 to 50 years with non-specific back pain symptoms, more than three months, or chronic back pain, uh, with body mass index not more than 25. In the accretion criteria, composed of pregnancy, back pain from uh, less fat for all serious disease, and if the participant had high pain intensity or previously performing exercise or pulling exercise before participate in this study were echoed from the study. This is equipment in this study. The pressure stability was measured by accelerometer uh, at P and cross exercise. The survey area and survey velocity in both medial or lateral or ML and anterior portilia or AP pain uh, were evaluated. The sensor pressed on lumbar spine uh, at spinal corset level 5 and the participant sit on chair with balance foam for 2 minutes. The participant were asked to sit as much as possible without the moving of the body for 2 minutes. This is our cap measures. In exercise session, both, both groups perform exercise 15 times per set, 40 sets, uh, with one minute lasting between sets. And before exercise, the researcher was determined the appropriate exercise position that suitable with the patient for uh, reducing of injury. And, and the exercise position in this study used breathing exercise with abdominal drawing. The level of exercise position consists of three levels with difficulty. Uh, this is level one. Level one is the beginning level. The participant uh, perform breathing exercise. Breathing exercise or lacing the pelvic up like this and with abdominal dropping and control trunk and period in a several 40 breathing cycle. Level two is a more difficult. The participant doing breathing exercise and abdominal dropping with lacing the leg. This is the last level is the most difficult. Uh, lacing the period and lacing the leg with both cross both arm on their shape, this is a more difficult because of most unstable. The SPSS version 24 used for statistical analysis. And in this study, the repeated measure ANOVA used to evaluate for sure stability uh, near outcome measures. Next session is the results from the study. Table 1 represents bedline characteristics of the participants. At bedline, both groups show no significant difference at bedline. Table 2 represents data distribution. The results show all demographic data show normal distribution. Table T represents comparison between pre and post test in each group. The result from this table shows sling exercise group, shows significant decrease in all parameters in both uh, sway area and sway velocity in ML and AP dilation. However, in the four group exercise, shows significant decreasing only sway area in ML dilation, only one dilation. When comparison between group after exercise, the results show no significant difference between both groups in sway area in AP direction. On the other hand, sway area in ML direction and sway velocity in AP and as well as sway velocity in ML direction. The results show significant difference between group and the swelling group show more decreasing or pressure sway than the four group. Next is the discussion. 
The result from this study shows significant decrease in sway area and sway velocity in all parameters in the broadest link group. But in the broad group, demonstrate a reduction or least sway area in ML dilation. The result shows including exercise more effective than the broad exercise. This writing uh, consistent with you who found sleep exercise merely to decreasing of pain and functional impairment, as well as similar with the team who found the new lab link program may produce pressure balance and muscle function, as well as decreasing of pain intensity. More, more effective or more improvement in pressure stability was shown by the link group may be explained by instability or vibration technique. Link exercise is one of unstable techniques that more activate neuromuscular control to give more muscle activity, especially uh, more activity of core stabilizer muscle, for example, multifidus muscle and tensorosis abdominis muscle. When you exercise or sling, uh, had a perturbation, uh, that needs greater muscle contraction to control body instability. In addition, let cause stimulation vibration is effective in facilitate core contraction of muscle and neuromuscular control to improving of default activation that are uh, necessary to preparing the body before movement. In addition, Clean exercise uh, is effect to improving of motor unit and motor recruitment and improving of overall trunk muscle to control sway or unstable. The conclusion of this study, the result from this study shows clean exercise was more effective to improving of stability in all parameters than the for exercise. And the achievement of this study would not be occur without an encouragement from faculty of physical therapy and stroke medicine and the funding of this study support by research institutes of Francis University. And this is reference in my presentation. That's all complete of my presentation. And I will I really thank you for your attention and I would like you to invite you to suggest this class and ask for any questions. Thank you very much. Okay, time to questions. So uh, if anyone has uh, questions, you can leave in, in chat or you can ask her directly. So ha Adam Fata. Hey, okay, me again. Thank you. Thank you for your presentation. Uh, how many actually of your calculation of the participant from the G Power? Uh, G Power? This moment, I cannot see the screen. Uh, you can see my Power Point presentation? Yes, sure. Yes. Uh -huh. G power. Okay. In this study, I uh, use G power software and the sample size was calculated about uh, 20, 20 and were randomly divided into three and four in 10, 10, 10 participants in each group. This okay. is uh, the test power at uh, price 08 and the effect size of uh, price 05. Right. And um, yes, thank you. It's quite small for the sample size 10 yes. percent. So I'm not sure it's can generalize to this kind of the patient or not. So the second question is, was the exercise about the floor exercise is individual, individualization exercise or how you can consider about the level of their difficulty? Okay, this is a level of exercise. The level of exercise consists of three levels with difficulty. Uh, the participant uh, uh, test the level before exercise. Uh, if the patient 
are performed correctly. The participants are doing the abdominal contraction and lacing the pelvic like this in the line like this. And the patient can control the pelvic in the same level without survey. If the patient cannot do it, the pelvic uh, cannot lacing like this and have a uh, survey or uncontrolled of pelvic in the same level. This is not part at the level. If the patient pass in this level, I will refer to next level. For average of the floor group exercise, how many times that they can do? Have you noted about that? Or you, you know what my question? Uh, how, yes, many, yes. how many times of this floor exercise mm -hmm. for, for uh, one level? I mean the average of the participant or how many times to chest? Yes. Uh, three times for three chest. Times. Um, but yes, if if I cannot pass, I I will pause and training before before exercise. Okay. And and do you ask the patient is is the fatigue or one minute is enough for the resting time or not? In my research, I think is uh, maybe enough. Some some question not enough. If uh, if one minute lesson between sets is not enough, the rest will be allowed if the patient have any symptom or aggression. Okay. And what about the participant in yours? They not have any exhausted or any fatigue? No, because uh, before exercise, I will. A chest that appropriate exercise for position for the patients. Okay, and the results. Okay. For the repeated Michel ANOVA, we need to, uh, in my personally, I always report the interaction between um, the factors first. And then if there, there is no or there are no interaction, I will report about the main, main factors. I mean, the group or the exercise. And yeah, when you report about the results, I, I can't see about, uh, I, I can't imagine about is interaction or is no interaction, something like that. Uh, could you explain a little bit for more extent of your information, please? Okay, um, uh, thank you for your question and thank you for this point. I'm so sorry <laughs> for this mistake. And in my interaction, I'm interesting about interaction between time by group, uh, as P, uh, within group or P and group test, uh, interaction time by group uh, have a significant decrease and significant difference in, in each group. But uh, when comparison between group have a uh, interaction time by group, uh, show significant difference between group when the time is passed. Uh, I mean, the parameters, which one uh, have interaction between group and time? Do you remember or not? I'm not sure. Yeah. For uh, in my, uh, I, I told you, my personally, I will report it, my interaction, the parameter first. Mm -hmm. For example, there, there were interaction between group and time for sway in the AP and ML. Mm -hmm. The main effect is found uh, between group or between time or not, something like that. Yeah, please consider about the report. If you want to publish your research, the repeated mission and all are gonna report some kind of different from here. Mm -hmm. But your 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 picture or your figures is it is help you to 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 make the, the audience understand. So if you want more kind of the publication or something, please consider before send it. That's all for me. Ka. Thank you very much for your suggestion. Uh, thank you, Ka, and Feng Far for your questions. So uh, I wondered, uh, is there any limitations for sling exercise? Uh, limitation for sling or limitation in this study? For sling exercise. Oh, sling exercise. Okay, for sling exercise, maybe uh, if not a decision about the appro appropriate exercise position, the uh, patient may be more pain or uh, more, more injury. 
So when uh, before exercise on sling, maybe a decision or inappropriate exercise position, and if the patient cannot do it, uh, stop and less because of when exercise or sling, overall muscle activate, maybe more pain. Mm. All right. Okay. Thank you for presenters. Uh, and uh, then we're gonna move to the last presenter for the physical therapy areas.